Hello everyone, it's me Vex and welcome back to another Roblox video and in today's Roblox video I'm going to be telling you guys if Anime Adventures is really worth playing. If you don't already know, Anime Adventures is a game on Roblox which is a tower defense game and is and has characters from many different anime, right? So instead of towers they have units which are basically different anime characters. That's basically the whole game. But in this video I'm going to be going over my pros and my cons over this game and finally I will be giving my overall rating for anime adventures. So let's get straight into it. So I am going to be starting off with my cons for the game. I'm going to be starting off with the things I do not like for the game. First of all I do not like the leveling system alright. The leveling system in this game is really slow and grindy and I, I just don't like it alright. I don't like grindy games a lot of the time, okay? And obviously, if I don't like grindy games, I won't like grinding aspects of this game. Like the leveling system. No, I played for almost four to five days, okay? Almost four, five days, alright? I'm not sure how many days exactly. But I have been playing four to five days, and I've only reached level 23, which I think is a little crazy, okay? Mainly because. To reach this fifth slot, you have to get to level 15, and to reach this last slot, you get to be level 30, which I guess I understand a little bit. I mean, if you want to do more damage, obviously you gotta grind it up, level up. But what thing I don't like is, which is gonna be going into the next thing I don't like about this game, is the trading system, alright? First of all, you need to be level 40 to trade, as you can see right here. Need to be at least level 40 to trade before it was level 50, so I'm glad they did change that. But yeah, level 40 to trade is just too much grinding, bro. <laughs> I have to grind a lot, and you can't even trade like your units, right? So if you, I just have uh, what the, um, if I just go into my units real quick, you can see here I have like five different units. I can't trade these because you're only able to trade limited units, which I don't like. Okay. I, I don't want to be trading limited units. Okay, right. If I got a limited unit, I'm keeping that unit, bro. I ain't trading that. Okay. I would, on the other hand, trade random units I have got in from spinning. Okay. That's what I would do. But no, you can't do that. You can only trade um, limited units, which I don't really like. Win, right? I do not like the pay to win aspect of this game. This game is pretty free to play, but if you do have. A lot of roblox you can very easily become a very good player and let me tell you why so there is currently a bungo stray dogs event in this game as you can see here and you need uh if you get at least a hundred rolls then you're guaranteed a mythic and you can buy these books that uh, you need to summon and you can buy these books for about 15 each and you need 10 books to just do one roll so that means that will cost you a hundred books to do one ten roll, which also means a thousand books just to get one mythic, which is a lot. But if we convert that into gems, because one book costs fifteen gems, convert that into gems. That is fifteen thousand gems. It costs you fifteen thousand gems just to get you one mythic, which may be good. At Okay, it may be good because this is a limited mythic and all the characters in this banner are really good. So that means you could just pay to win. You want to know why? Because you can get 2,000 gems, right? Just by paying 1.6k Robux, which is a lot to the average Roblox player. See so yeah. it? And we can just go to the store here by pressing F. And you can see we have three different tabs worth of the exclusive shop, which is basically all Robux stuff. You can see here the game passes we have super lucky ultra lucky and these only these aren't even game passes all right these are the de developer products uh all the game passes are here okay shiny hunter unit storage all right then we have gifts look at that that's 15 different gifts and then specials these are just expensive okay but these are they are pretty good all right 30,000 candies 50 stat 50 trait rerolls and 10 times spooky star. Not that bad. Now I'm going to be moving on to the pros of this game. 
one thing I like about this game is the battle pass, alright? It might be it might seem a little weird, alright? But not a lot of games actually do have a power pass when they need them, keyword. If a game doesn't need a battle pass, then 90% of the time they don't need them. But I personally like the battle pass in this game mainly because it is very free to play friendly. So if you do not have the battle pass for this game, you can still do a lot of you can still get a lot of good stuff. I mean 250 gems is pretty good, okay? Just for getting one level and you go to get reroll tokens. Go get lots of coins, and if you hit a uh, level 25 on your battle pass, you actually get a free mythic character. And I'm pretty sure at level 50, you also get another free mythic character, which is pretty good. Another thing I do like about this game is that there are a lot of different anime characters from different underrated anime, it's like Bungo Stray Dogs, I did show before. Uh, we can see here someone with Poseidon from, uh, what was it called? Crap, I forgot. Uh, Record of Ragnarok, that's one of my top five. No, not top five. What Top ten favorite animes of all time. I do really like Record of Ragnarok. Uh, it is really underrated. We also have lots of Tokyo Ghoul stuff, as you can see here. That section. Next, I do really like the different events in the game. Most of the time, they're pretty unique, especially with the Halloween event. Um, if we just go there real quick, I'm pretty sure it's over there, yep. Uh, Halloween event, yep. So far there is a Halloween event, uh, even though it is November. But, you can get candies, which you can do by doing a special different, um, adventure. Pretty sure they're called, that's what they're called. So yeah, if you do a special limited time of adventure, you can get candies, and with your candies you can buy them and stuff. These are just evolution items you can use to evolve different characters, but you can use spooky stars to actually open. It's kind of like a summoning, but instead you can get different skins, get legendary mythic, and you also have a small chance of getting a mythical unit. All right, and you're guaranteed a mythical unit at 400 spins, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie, it is pretty cool to get a mythic unit. Yeah, that was some things I did like and did not like about the game. So I'm going to be doing my overall rating. First of all, uh, yeah, this game is pretty fun, even if you do not like tower defense games. I personally don't like tower defense games that much, but considering I played this game for over three to four days, and I even have, I even did a stream uh, about this game yesterday by the time I'm recording this I did make a stream about this game a whole ass stream it's like an hour long um, so yeah I do really like this game I do enjoy this game and I do recommend playing this game do I recommend this game to people who don't even like anime at all if you enjoy the aspect of TDS games yes all right if you played anything like Bloons Tower Defense uh, uh, Tower Defense Simulators, play this game, okay? It, it's fun, alright? You don't need to be an anime fan to know what this game is about, okay? It's just a Tower Defense game, but with anime characters. So yeah, I hope you guys did like this video. If you did, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.